Norman Batefield's right there. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. <laughs> How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Yeah, Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. For you? Yes. Singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. I get a feeling we're going to be doing out. a lot Actually, of screaming. Hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack? Then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a hall, dude. No, no. We would end up lost. <laughs> It's a nice, dainty little and room. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. <laughs> Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? <laughs> Yes, that means there's no mini bar either. Oh. Shows where you know. Oh gosh, no, it's dusty. What is that? Wine. No, oh, don't drink. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? Yeah, why are we thirsty? No! Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? <laughs> oh. Gotta stick on my own if you want to share lip cooties. Thanks, <laughs> but I can find mine. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? It's so dusty. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. She has asthma. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but. Can't mind over matter. And allergies, and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. There is tension between these two. 
There is some high sexual tension. Right, let's not get drunk on wine we just found in a cupboard. I'm gonna try that. And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. Don't do it. Ah! And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were a cute thing. Really? Maybe she takes more? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, I, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Uh, uh. Or that I don't think you're cute too. Oh, just, kiss, 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 kiss. Um, Mwah. Move it. What are you doing? Uh, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Aww! I hope no one dies now. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. What happened there? Who is that? Someone having a nosy? <sighs> Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, <laughs> you know Smooth. what it's doing. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You got ten minutes. I for God's sake, Charlie. Okay. I was Maybe about to get again. comfy. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Oh, he is an asshole. <laughs> To be continued then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. That's confusing. <clears throat> Don't drink the moldy wine. Oh, that's not sus. Where the hell are they going? Moldy sock wine. making is he making like a mannequin of Kate? <gasps> well I'm looking 
Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Okay. Do I look fucking stressed? Sound uh, effing stressed. That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I, no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <gasps> Jesus. Uh, we'll check another bag? Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. Oh, dear. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another... It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. Smoking's bad, gone, okay? Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Oh, no, don't go down... Oh, Jamie. It's just... I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. <laughs> Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. All this for a packet of cigarettes? I mean, come on, my dude. But he's got like more than one pair. It's of my spare cap. <laughs> exactly the same. Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? Nothing. Nothing. It's just variety. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's a notice of eviction. Okay, that sucks. Oh. Going this way. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well... But you have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Going down. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, okay. what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. Give her a freaking... I... I think you should get an assistant. I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? <laughs> the audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, okay. so much experience. And What's the secret? The Morello family. Time. Okay, there's no, a whole lot of Morello yes, family. And they checked in the recently. wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. Oh, no, but movies. I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth, is the star. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that I'm missing and not our gear. It's true. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. 
so you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? What does she get at? She's just like poking him and being like, you're a hey, failure. Maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Okay, they can be unlocked using keys. Kind of got that. <laughs> All right, he didn't go ham on it at least. Hello. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. I got the bar key. That's um. No one questioning the ding ding and then the key arrives? No? No? Okay. I'm just, you know, I'd question it. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Okay, we're splitting up. Not a good plan. Hello? Mr. Dumet? I actually studied that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Charlie's. Oh no! Oh, 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 Charlie. Ooh, Charlie, ooh. Okay. Don't stick your hand in any holes. I mean, <laughs> we lifted it, but we didn't do anything. Beast. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Yay! But yes, let's not put our hands in. Oh! Uh, hello? Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hi. Uh... Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Uh -huh. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Um, as long as we don't put our hand in anything, right? Uh, Miss Kelly Schrodner, once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my hotel condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. None of them I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we're almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. Invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony, 7 p.m. Friday, November... 17th, 2017. 
promised a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you'll agree that all of your hard work has been worth it when you enjoyed the unique hotel experience. Sincerely, Richard Velnick. I mean, what happens if we go behind the bar? Is this still gonna... Oh, he was right here. Don't come behind the bar! Oh my god, don't put... Yes. Let me guess, he's gonna put his hand, try to yes. reach in to get it. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, of course it was exact change. Damn it! Oh, that's... No, that's... That's stealing! Cigarettes really that worth it? I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not. It was worth a try. <laughs> She had more luck at the gift shop. I am so worried now. I don't want him to put his hand in anything because he shouldn't. Is it really that worth it? It's not worth it. Charlie, it's not worth it. Oh, he broke Please, it. Come on, no. It's not worth it. Charlie, it's not worth it. Oh, that's just oh. cheeky. Oh, thank you, Lord. Ha. Oh, jeez. Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Stop it. Don't eat rubbish. Stop Give it. it to me. Give me my cigarettes. Oh, jeez. Right, you. That's it. It's I'll just cigarettes. Your grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Oh. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? 